Did you know if you take a PVC pipe, you could just buy it at Home Depot, some Mylar tinsel, and make it into a disorder? Let me show you. You could make this really cool floating orb. So, you're gonna need to make this orb. So, you're just need to, you're gonna need to take three, uh, six strings of Mylar tinsel, which you could buy at Amazon. And then, then you put them together, you tie it a knot. Oops. You tie a knot at one end, then tie one at the other end. Then you're gonna need to you're gonna need to cut it because the strings are too long. Because like they come long, you go down about you go about down fifteen centimeters. Then you tie the knot, then you cut down the rest. Same with the other side. Then take your PVC pipe and rub it on your hair. Take the, oops. Take the orb and like drop it from a distance and rub it here on your hair. Can you see it? Let me just move it a little closer. See it floating? <coughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. No! Here's the explanation. It is all about static charges. Similar static charges repel away from each other. When you rub the pipe in your hair, you give the pipe a negative charge. The orb is attracted to the pipe at first because the orb has a positive charge. As soon as the orb touches the pipe, it picks up a negative charge. When the pipe is negative and the tinsel orb is now negative, they repel away from each other and the other orb levitates. The orb will get, tail, take on more of a ball appearance when charged since all the tinsel strands are repelling away from each other. Did you know the, the, the orb is attracted to other objects? around you, including you. That is because most ob objects, including you, have a positive charge. Bye, bruh.